It's been a while since I did an Amazon video, so I thought I would sit down and bring you for the month the things that I'm really loving from Amazon. I have some great finds here. You know how much I love to shop at Amazon and how much I love showing you what I got. A lot of these things are things that I've had for a while. I just haven't had a chance to show you yet. So if you're new here to my channel, I want to say welcome to you. My name is Melissa. I'm 56 and I am a beauty content creator here on YouTube for the past eight years. I also do lifestyle and fashion in there, so hopefully you will enjoy the content today. And if you do, I would love for you to subscribe. Thank you for being here with me, especially my longtime subscribers. I always like to tell you how much I appreciate all of your support because without you, I don't have a channel. As far as what I have on for a top, I will make sure that I show you a picture of that right here. And I will list and link everything that we're talking about below in the description box today. Don't forget that if I don't talk about my makeup or whatever, it's still listed and linked below along with all of the storage back here because I get asked about that as well all the time. Let me just talk to you really quickly about some of this beautiful jewelry that I have on today. I love this statement necklace. I've worn it for years now. It's one that I pull out and it goes with so many tops that I have, especially if you're wearing an understated top or just kind of a t-shirt like top, but you want to dress things up. This is a really nice nice one that can be worn a little bit higher if you want it to as a choker or it can be worn a little bit lower. And also I want to show you this pretty ring that I have on today. This is a rose ring. One of the things that my mother absolutely loved during her lifetime is that she loved roses and I bought this ring for her quite a while ago and she's unable to wear it now so it got gifted back to me and I absolutely love it and then stackable rings how fun are they also I paired this jewelry with a really understated pair of earrings just a drop rhinestone silver earring to go with that but the number one thing that I enjoy buying on Amazon is this skincare oh my goodness I'm such a skincare junkie if you've been with me any amount of time you know this and my favorite is Korean skincare and we get it so readily on Amazon let's start out with a few things that I've talked about before I want to talk to you about this product right here this is the bioderma cleansing oil I talked about this when we had prime days in the summer and I bought this and I love it as you can see it's lasting a very long time this one right here is definitely a cleansing oil that leaves your skin feeling clean you almost if you have very dry skin you could get away with cleansing with this putting on your moisturizer at night and not doing another thing if you don't like doing all the other skincare steps. I always like to go in with a double cleanse to get all the oils off, but this one I'm surprised at how much comes off even when you're using it as a cleansing oil to take off makeup. I do love this, but that's not what I wanted to put in here first. What I wanted to compare it to is this Aveeno. This is the Daily Moisturizing Body Mist Oil. I absolutely love this stuff. Now, comparatively, I will list this and link this for you. I do think this is a fantastic cleansing oil, even for your body. It's wonderful. And it does leave you feeling very soft. But what I love, because I am so very dry, and as we get into the winter months now, the heaters come on, I get even drier. That is a huge factor for me in looking for a product like this. This is like the fourth or the fifth bottle of this Aveeno oil that I've had because of how well it moisturizes. It is fantastic to use right after you get out of the shower. Now you can use it in the shower, which is what I do. So you go ahead and you just spray your body and then I rub it all over everything that I know is going to get dry and itchy. And then you just lightly rinse it off and then I towel dry. And I'm telling you, you are so moisturized. You do have that little bit of a feeling of the oils a little bit, but it isn't a sticky oil that lasts and lasts like you're going to have a hard time putting on your clothes or anything like that. I just want once I'm done towel drying, I will rub it all in. Just like a beautiful lotion, it's going to give you that super hydration. For me, it's even more long lasting because it's an oil. It doesn't have a strong fragrance. As a matter of fact, I don't think they even added a perfumed fragrance into this and that's another bonus for it. So I love that and wanted to show it to you. I also want to show you a couple of other things that I'm still loving that I've talked to you about before. And that is from Numbuzin. This is the number four toner or essence from them. Now I showed this to you early in the summer. I think I did buy this during prime days too. This is their toner that is 
for somebody that is very dry. And as we get into those drier months, we need more moisture on our face. I have learned that this is a saving grace under makeup. If you are somebody that halfway through the day, your makeup feels dry, your face feels tight, you might absolutely adore this essence because it is so hydrating. It really does give your makeup that super boost and your skin looks super plumped up. You know, when we get dehydrated, our makeup can look really junky. And that is a lot of times what happens with our makeup. It just does not look right during the day because we've gotten too dehydrated, especially across my forehead. I also have a lot of dry patches across my cheeks. This is a product that I absolutely swear by and I am in love with it. Numbuza number four. Also, I have been using this for years and years. This is from Good Molecules. This is their niacinamide brightening toner. And I had, once again, forgotten about a product that I absolutely loved. And when I saw it and purchased it again and went back to it, I'm like, why did I ever stray? This is formulated with niacinamide, arbutin, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. The first few times I used it, I mean within like a week, two weeks, I was looking at my pores closely in the mirror and I was like, am I just imagining this or do my pores look better? Do they look more refined? And it was this product. So it's that super pore refining. It's going to tighten those pores a little bit. But why I went back to this in particular is the niacinamide, the arbutin, and the licorice root. Those are all brighteners and they're also known to help fade dark spots. I'm having a really hard time this year with all of my age spots. And so spots. And so this really has been a saving grace for me to have back in my routine again. This is one that you can use anywhere in your routine, interchanging them with your toners and your serums. But I have found that going back to this, my skin is looking brighter once again, but boy, those pores are looking refined and beautiful. This is not that expensive. And just so you know, a lot of these products I would not be recommending to you if I didn't know they were authentic on Amazon because the Good Molecules brand has a store on Amazon and that's all you have to look for it. It'll say visit the Good Molecules store or something like that. And you can go over and click on it and you'll see that this product is sold by them. Another one really quickly before we go into the new things that I have been loving and showed you last month, but I want to tell you I'm still loving this product is the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Dry Spun Text Texture Spray for helping to give your, your hair texture and helping your hair to have memory. I am in love with this stuff and it's gonna make my hair all crazy here, but this stuff really works. You can achieve this PC texture with your hair if you want to, or you can get a smoother style with it, whichever you want. But what it's gonna do is it's going to give you the thickening properties but it's also going to have memory. But I also wanted to share with you what came with it as a set. I bought these as a set on QVC. I don't think this is available anymore. I think it was a today special value, but it came with the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Spray Pre Preps Hair for Lush Blow Dries. Now, my hair is so, so fine. I mean, it is the finest of the fine. But this spray right here, when I use it as I'm blow drying, I find that my hair has beautiful thickness to it. Now my hair's never going to be super thick and super full. Obviously that's partly my age, my health conditions, that kind of thing. But these kind of products that are thickening products, they really do help. That's why I gravitate towards them. And I find that most products that say thickening are very heavy and weigh down my hair and it looks worse after I use them. Not with this. I find that it gives a beautiful blow dry. It's still light and it's still touchable and it's still easy to use. And that came with this two ounce one. I'm getting ready to buy the big one, the eight ounce one. So I'm excited about both of those products, but I'm really excited about the one that you use as you're blow drying your hair. It does seem to give a lot more thickness and a lot more body. Now, one of you did tell me about this product right here. And I'm so glad that you guys have recommendations because I say this all the time, you guys influence me as much as I influence you. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Exfoliating Cleanser. Gently exfoliates while boosting hydration for an instantly soft and refreshed skin with hyaluronic acid. This has a very lovely feel to it. Now I would not recommend that you take your makeup off with this, but cleansing your face either after you've taken your makeup off or 
in the morning this is beautiful it does have a tiny bit of granules and a tiny bit of grit in it and when i say that i mean this is probably the finest one i've ever found but there's not a lot of it and i think that that makes a huge difference too this is so very gentle i'm finding that the further past menopause i get the more and more i'm needing gentle skincare products and this one just fits the bill for an exfoliator i do like a physical exfoliation lots of people don't and i understand if you don't but i do like just a little bit and this fits the bill so well and at this point in the video i want to highly recommend these microfiber towels and i've talked about them so many times on my channel when you use a cleansing oil like the bioderma you really need to be using a microfiber towel to get off all of your eye makeup i could not get off all of the makeup that i use completely without using these towels and what i love about these particular ones that i bought because i bought the makeup eraser before i've bought other brands before these have stayed super fluffy for me which i really like i've washed them and washed them the other thing is they've stayed super clean for me and i'm telling you when i'm done with this at the end of the night they're black with my mascara and they're pretty darn brown with all of the other stuff that i wear and it just comes off just slick as a whistle so i use these in conjunction with using an oil or a cleansing balm and then i will rinse these out really well use the other cleanser that i use and then do that second wash with these you'll be surprised how much more comes off and then i splash with water and pat dry these are indispensable in my skincare routine these are the tools for the skincare routine that i would recommend to everybody if you're not using a microfiber cloth what are you doing? You need to try them. Also this month, I kind of did a deep dive into Matrixel serums or peptides. This specific serum, the Matrixel, it is so important if you have sagging skin, if you have skin that is really showing texture and signs of aging with large wrinkles, you really want to put Matrixel you really want to put Matrixel into your skincare routine and use it. You can get it from The Ordinary. This one I got from Skin Diva. This is actually a synthetic blend of it. It's Matrixel Synthi 6 Serum, um, and it has hyaluronic acid, but it says Anti-Wrinkle Skin Matrix Repair. This is what helps with the elasticity in our skin. I really encourage you to read the article that I will post down below. It's really quite fascinating how amazing this product is for anybody that has wrinkles. We know that peptides are the building blocks of collagen, and collagen is what makes our skin bounce back and helps those wrinkles that we already have kind of soften and over time really diminish. Right now, I'm personally using this morning and night, so you know that. Last thing in the video for your skincare routine, I did have this in a video a while ago. This is an eyelash growth serum from the company Florezio. And I told you that this didn't have any prostaglandin in it, and which is really good because prostaglandin can take away some of the fat around our eyes. We want to keep those as plumped as possible for as long as possible. This is a fantastic serum for me. Helps my eyelashes grow absolutely as long as they can. And I really love it, but it was sold out. So it's back in stock. I have a new um, link for you down there. I love this one. I use it morning and night. However, it does say that all you have to do is use this at night to get results. Also, this tube is a big tube. Even though it looks like a smaller tube, the packaging is very thin. So not cheap, but very thin so that a lot is packed into here. You know, this one is going to last you a long time and it's a really good one too. And I highly recommend it. Also, what I have on my eyes for eyeliner, I'm so excited about these. These are from Moira and they are eye pencils, but they are duochrome eye pencils. They're, it's an automatic eye pencil. This one has a duochrome shift of purple to blue and also just a tiny bit of green in there. Can you see the shift in that? Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but that blue shift to purple is gorgeous. And they have a bunch of colors. I love wearing any sort of blue on my lash line on the bottom. It's a way for me to get a pop of color without, you know, going crazy with my eye look. But these are so pretty. And I am really hoping that on camera these show 
how beautiful the duochrome effect is. Moira does these so well. I don't have to set these down, although if your eyeliner has a tendency to run on you, you might want to put a little bit of setting powder up underneath there, but I just smudge it out and it doesn't move all day long. I am highly impressed with these and definitely want to try some other vibrant colors. I also talked about this product earlier in the month, but I want to talk about it again because this um, Hello Kitty and Pixie collab that they had a while ago, this is a highlighter, but this is one of the prettiest highlighters. The Essence Pure Nude Highlighter is a beautiful highlighter. However, this one does kind of the same thing. It's a highlighter without being um, that gleaming highlighter, so it's not a strobing highlighter. It's just light. It's ethereal light brought to whatever area you want to. I really enjoy this particular color, and it is called Sweet Glow. I think they have one or two other of these colors, but this is super soft. It's a very, very easy one to wear because of how, how creamy and lovely of a powder it is. I mean, putting it on, you can really tell a difference. I'm pretty glowy today anyway, but it's one of those ones that you can easily build without it looking like you're going way overboard with the glowy look. A lipstick. This is what I have on on the outer edges of my lips today. This is a new lipstick to me. You all know my passion for Maybelline Sensational, Color Sensational lipsticks. I think that they are some of the most beautiful high-end looking lipsticks. Pink Flare is this one, and it is dramatic. And I wanted a dramatic one for fall. I wanted to have a bunch of new, deeper colors. I just really like that berry color for fall, and this is no exception. This is a beautiful berry. I would say that this is a deepened berry rose. It's just so pretty. And no matter whether you decide to wear it an ombre look like I did today, whether you decide to just wear it straight on, it's gorgeous. It's a satin. Um, if you want your satins to last longer, make sure that once you put them on, you blot them and then reapply them. You're going to have much more lasting power on your lipsticks. But this one is just so pretty for fall and I couldn't wait to share it with you. I think it's gorgeous. Another thing that I wanted to share with you are these Everlust Cream Shadows from Moira. And I'm not gonna be able to see the color, but I'll put it up here on the screen. This is a pot shadow, a lot like the Charlotte Tilbury one, and they have the same lasting power as that one. I love this formula. This is a one and done type situation. There it is right there and in the pot. It has a glimmer in it or a little bit of a sheen in it, but you can spread that across your eyelids and just have a one and done situation. I really like this because it's not a super metallic. It does have a shimmer in it. You can absolutely blend these out and make them a lot lighter or you can wear them a lot deeper. You can blend them with a brush, you can blend them with your finger. All I do is I just take my finger, put it down in there and put it across my whole entire eyelid and buff out the transition area or the brow bone area. It is so pretty. They come in so many colors. I was really shocked. And again, this is one that I want to go ahead and repurchase some more colors in and try. I think that this is every bit as budge proof as the Charlotte Tilbury. It wears very well. It doesn't dry down to where your eyelids feel like they're gonna, you know, crinkle and everything. They're, it's just very pretty. Some of the things that I've had for a long time, I've told you about over and over again, but I like to tell you about things that really have stood the test of time for me, and this is one of them. This is a brush case, and I have almost every eyeshadow brush I own in here. The point is, is that it keeps me organized, and it also is very easy to see what you have in here. I adore this thing. When I am traveling, if you want to, you can make this into an easel, and it can sit on a desk if you want it to. I just open it up and lay it flat, but you can go ahead and take out a few of your eye brushes and put all of your face brushes in here and have your brushes all in one place. You could use this for eyeliners, for lip liners, for your mascaras. You could travel with this and just customize it however you wanted to. But for me, it is so nice because I do have a lot of brushes because this is my job. 
I love to see everything that I have in one place and this makes it so easy. It does have a flap right here that you can use to clean off your brushes if you want to. I have a tendency not to do that because I don't want to have to wash that thing that much. The other nice thing that it does is if you use a lot of cream products, it will keep your cream brushes separate from your other brushes when you close it as well. I try to keep everything as organized as possible and this helps me do that. So that's really fun. I also did find another organizational item. This is my makeup storage cube and it's not just got makeup in it, it's got lots of stuff in it, but it is what I put in my purse. And it, I just throw everything in here. I have a pair of scissors, I have tweezers, I have sharpeners in here, I have my lipsticks, my lip glosses. Everything that I can possibly fit in there goes in there. And then I will just take the whole thing, instead of having to reach down in the bottom of my purse and find a bunch of stuff, I can just take this out, find what I need at a glance, and it's all there. And then it just goes very easily into my purse which segues very nicely into what I'm gonna be showing you today for a purse. Of course, it isn't an Amazon video unless I show you a new purse. And this one is so fun for fall. I am in love with this purse. It's a barrel purse and it has two side pockets. It looks like leather, but it's vegan. And I just think that the organization on it is great. You can put your, your cell phone down in the side here, glasses, whatever you need to, to keep them separate. There is a little pocket on the back where you could keep your ID and your money. And then the flap on the front has a pocket inside there as well. And then it has the cute little ornament of having the rose on there. And then inside, it's just your basic drum or barrel type purse where everything falls in. That's why I said grab yourself one of those cubes because then it can go in and you can grab the cube out. I have my wallet and my phone and the cube in here. That's about it. And then I don't have to worry about it being organized. It's cute over your shoulder if you want to use the strap or it's cute on your arm if you're just somebody that likes to tuck it up under your arm, which is what how I carry my purses anyway. It looks very luxe, very high end. Looks like it would come out of a boutique in somewhere like Aspen or Jackson or somewhere like that. I love the gunmetal trimming on it and all of the details that they put into it. This is just such a cute purse. And it has, of course, the little knob that can sit on the ground without the purse having to actually sit on the ground itself. This is a very well-made, nice purse. And lastly, we're gonna round up with a little bit of fashion. Right here is three pairs, a burgundy, a gray, and a navy of my leggings. The weather just turned here. There's that nip in the air for fall and I pulled out all of my leggings. These are my favorite leggings because they do not lose their form. You know, sometimes after you wash and wash and wash leggings, they just start to look saggy in the butt or the knees or somewhere. They pull, a, you know, kind of stretch apart. These don't do that. These are fantastic. They hold their shape. I've washed them and washed them again. And these are actually from not last year, but the year before. And I just find that I absolutely love these. I think they are the cream of the crop ones. They come with the pockets that are on the side and the little front pocket that you have that my actual cell phone fits in this as well. You can put money in there or your ID, whatever you need to. These have a great cut to them. The seams are cut so that you look thinner. I love these. They're long enough for me. I have a very long inseam, so they're long enough for me. I wanted to definitely tell you about these because I did just get asked recently what leggings I like to wear, and these are them. I live in these all winter long. They're just my absolute go-to every single day when all I want to do is put on leggings and a t-shirt to clean my house or do my work on my computer at home. As the weather is turning, we need pieces that we can wear over our t-shirts and our shirts and we can take them off when it gets warmer and then we can put them on as it gets cooler. And I wanted to bring you two crop jackets that I thought was so cute for this season. This one is a plaid one, buttoned down. This is so soft. I can't even tell you how soft this flannel is. This comes in a ton of colors and I wore this like crazy last year and I saw very recently another um, influencer talk about how this trend is still here with the crop top and the flannel. So I wanted to make sure I told you about this. This is just very flattering. I have it in a medium works really good for me and so it's pretty true to size. Also I got this corduroy one. This one is a little bit different in that it doesn't button all the way up to the top. You have the lapel on it. It has nice buttons on it that give it a good accent. These are a little bit of that gunmetal chrome look to them. 
nice on the pockets right there they are true pockets so that you can wear pockets if you want to have something in your pocket if you want to i love how soft this one is as well now this one is the wine red one and this really i would say is more of a burnt red kind of color you know like that burnt orange color only reddish and it's not like the true red that i would consider to be wine red just so you know that and i think between the purse and the jacket together. I think they're gonna look so cute together. I'm really excited to wear those together. But I love these crop jackets. I think they're fun, they're easy to wear. They're still cozy, but they're still very fashionable. So I'm kind of into those right now and I wanted to bring you those two. That's everything for today. Hope that you did enjoy the video and that you will give it a thumbs up, please. And if you would like to, tell me down in the comments section anything that I might need for fall. If you have a really cute shirt or a jacket or something that you absolutely love, for fall as we transition. I would love to hear what you're picking up for fall or if there's something in the past that you've really enjoyed as we transition into the cooler weather. Hope that you're all doing really well and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves, my friends. I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.